get ready for noob action in ranked battles. Merry Christmas, everyone. Here's your Christmas present. It is the Conqueror GC Lobster. We've already got the noob strategy, which is that everyone is going to go to the nine line. Because as you can see in the chat, don't cover all flanks. Uh, the Object 140 has the Unicum strategy that everybody should go only on the same flank. Uh, perhaps he should see all the videos on my account of that strategy failing in ranked battles. You know, the reason why he's doing this is for selfish reasons. He's got some selfish reason. He wants as many tanks with him on this flank, which is why he's asking for everyone to do it. And as you can see, all but one tank has gone to that flank. And the reason why they're doing it is because you can play hull down over here. There's really no hull down positions over here. So they don't want to play positions that are not hull down. And that's what I've noticed about Division 2 in ranked battles. Everybody goes to a place that's hull down. Anything that isn't, they skip. It's bad for the team. We've lost a lot of games from people doing that. What's going to happen is the enemy will come around and put us in the corner, and then we lose. And then they'll complain about us. It's a very selfish strategy. It's, unfortunately, that's what happens with ranked battles. They could do something where, you know, I had the idea a long time ago that you get, when you go into another game, you get hooked up with people on your team in the next game. But it's not that interesting, and it's not that exciting. I'm going to go for the chance to hit two tanks instead of the SPG. There it is. Look at those Anakums. So I stunned two. I got 485 damage on the T95 and 331 on the Super Conqueror, which isn't very common. That's actually unusual. Uh, it was a really good shot. The only good thing about what they're doing is that you know that the enemy is dumb enough that they won't, that they're going to do basically the same thing. Oh, the Super Conqueror is still alive. Well, I'm going to have a word with him. And it looks like they're retreating, like all Anakums do. Okay, T95. There you go, Christmas gift coming early. You know, today was April Fool's Day 2020. It's a actually um, April 2nd now. Uh, well, again, only if you're on the East Coast of the United States, if you're in California, you know, it's still April Fools. Two to one. I I think I could make it, if I had get really lucky, I could make it to Division One today. No, no, you know what? I've only got an hour of games left. I'm going to have to finish it tomorrow. If you're curious about my efficiency rate, it is it was 61% when I last checked it. I think the top players get 200% efficiency, which means that they're getting the double chevrons every game or something like that. I'm going to go for this shot on this guy. Winning is more important than farming damage. Uh, when you lose, you lose the chevrons. So I really want to win. I'm going to play winning strategy, going after the low HP vehicle. Took him out of the game. That was 67 on the Super Conqueror. And look at what happened. They didn't come defend over here. And our team was smart enough to swing it around. And we ended up using the strategy against them that they thought was going to work. They could still win, so 
We have to be vigilant. I have the feeling that the guy up in the north isn't going to win. He's going to be the big loser for the day. You know what my last game was? 4,900 damage. Isn't that awesome? I got a 4,900 damage game with this vehicle on Karelia. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Object 140. See, I told you, so you that's a strategy. Go to nine line. That's a strategy. Well, we won. Now, hopefully I did better than 1,800 damage. Very happy if I. I want to tell you the Conqueror gun carriage. It is a very good SPG. I'm having great games with it. Definitely on the recommend list. And I'm not using gold rounds. I'm not using the directives. Not using my full brain. Uh, anybody I recognize. Medved, I believe, was in the Karelia game on the opposite team to me. One Chevron. 2,600 damage. Okay, 2,500 damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. I believe that it was the Object 140 that had the idea that we had to go to the 9 line. Okay, that's the game.